Hey guys, this is Wade Beatty. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm just gonna go over a few things that may help you out if you plan on coming to Lake Gunnersville anytime soon. It's February the 22nd. And last week, I, I didn't get any camera footage. I had issues with my cameras. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll get on that again soon. I think I got that problem worked through. But uh, before before this last little warm snap, I was doing pretty well on swim baits. Um, this is an example of what I was throwing here. It's a four inch swim bait. I've been throwing this for a while. I've done a couple videos on it. I, I love swim baits. Uh, actually, the first swim bait I ever threw was a sassy shad back in the 80s. That's telling how old I am. But anyhow, this little guy right here, the way I have it rigged is on a weedless swim bait hook. The reason I like this is because I can I can crawl this thing through brush, uh, wood, grass. I use anywhere from a three eighths ounce all the way up to three quarters. Of course, if you're gonna be in shallow grass, you're gonna have to go lighter. You're gonna bury it up in the grass and you, you, you won't catch any fish. You'll be too busy taking the grass off your hook. But the reason I like this versus the traditional way that we usually fish around grass is because I, I catch more fish this way. I feel like with this hook being more open and with the brush guard, you know, you're gonna get hung occasionally, but not as bad as you would think. But when, when they eat this thing, I think what happens a lot of times, if they're not really eating it well, or sometimes actually when they are, is this plastic just gets balled up in their mouth and you don't really get a good, good excuse me, you don't get good hook penetration. And with this little guy here, you do. I, I, I really like this. I made a change of this a while back and I've shared this with a few people and it's, it's, it's something that I like and I'm gonna stick with a lot. Now, obviously when the grass is up too high and you know, there's definitely gonna be times that you're gonna have to rig it like this, this traditional style. I say traditional, I've been using this for years. Um, this, I believe this is a six inch Scotch Pearl swim bait. Scottsboro Tackle Swim Bait works really well around here. Everybody knows this is the juice certain times of the year. But uh, I like throwing it on, this is a Tiger Rods. It's seven six, medium heavy, moderate action. I use anywhere from 14 to 20 pound test line, whatever you prefer, That there's several good brands out there. And I'm, I'm throwing this on an Arctic Summit Grand. Now this particular reel is eight four to one. But the reason I like it is, obviously you can slow down and reel the speed you need to reel but if if you if you get a fish that hit it and he runs to you or not slacking the line and you really catch up to him and i believe in the end that helps you catch more fish uh as far as uh another little thing i want to go over as far as what i've noticed last week on the on the lake that might surprise some people i was back in roseberry creek if you guys are familiar with gunners what i i went to a couple shallow coves and I saw fry everywhere. And you guys know what that means. It means that we've already had a spawn. There's already been some fish in it spawn. So a little something to think about. The water temperatures when I was out were in the mid fifties, but I didn't go out today and we had a real warm day. We're gonna have a warm day tomorrow. So that water temperature is definitely gonna be up in the 60 before too much longer. So uh, if you guys are planning a trip out soon, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and good fishing.